here's my Bixler 2 uh, review on some of the mods I've done I made it the other day I got my flight on uh, YouTube um, I did notice performance was was pretty good initially but uh, as uh, time ticked on I did notice getting a bit sluggish and uh, at the end of the day round about here where my ESC was pretty much in the middle it's a 30 amp red brick ESC this fuselage here was absolutely boiling um, what I did before is I did have a hole but I, I really increased it a lot it was it was probably only a third of that size and, and I've channeled it out and scooped it because I, I blocked the front hole up because the Bixler 1 hasn't got that vent hole there anyway and uh, my battery was right at the front anyway and it was just blocking the hole and it was doing useless um, so I needed to get some vent in so basically what I've done is really opened it up a lot so I'm getting a lot of airflow through there now um, and I've moved also um, my ESC was right in between those two plastic tubes right in the fuse um, you couldn't see any 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 wires at all so I've moved it out but also as well what I've done is um, with some thermal paste uh, I've put a I've taken the uh, red shrink wrap off the top and it, it exposed a thin aluminum uh, plate uh, so I, I retook that off put some thermal compound on the chips put that plate back on then thermal compound and put that heat sink on then just around the top there and bottom around the sides keep that heat sink on um, some um, high temperature sealant silicone uh, so basically let's uh Got a heat gun here as well. So I'll get some amps going. So um, it's improved it a lot because without that heat sink on I tested it and it was going up to 140 Fahrenheit 60 degrees uh, so that's brought that temperature down quite a lot and that's without any airflow going over it so uh, I'm quite uh, pleased with that result so far so uh, I'll check her up uh, 
and test the flight again and uh, hopefully she's a lot better. Thanks for watching.